First, seven things women notice about you instantly. Hello, gentlemen, and welcome to my channel. For those of you that might not know me yet, my name is Apollonia Ponti, and I am here to shed some light on seven things that women notice about you instantly. So if you are in the dating game and you want to pull all the odds in your favor, this video is going to be a goldmine for you. You only get one first impression. So if you know how to make a good one, the sky's the limit. So if you haven't done so yet, I want to take this opportunity to invite you to subscribe to my channel so that you can get content like this directly to your inbox or every single week here on YouTube. All right, let's get right into it, shall we? The first thing a girl is going to notice about you is how you hold yourself. In other words, your posture and your presence. So are you slouching? Are your arms crossed? Are you hunched over when you're sitting next to her? Or do you have your shoulders back and your back straight? Do you have an inviting smile on your face and a tad laid back? Are you confident in your energy? The great thing about paying attention to your posture is that it probably the easiest thing that you can fix immediately in the moment that you meet someone. This is one of those things that a lot of men don't think about and they wind up not even making it past hello. I know it might sound harsh, but remember when women get approached, we pay attention to your body language and she doesn't want to deal with a guy that's immediately giving her insecure body language up front, right? Because you walked into her personal territory. So remember, tip one is to be mindful of your posture and your stance. The second thing that women notice immediately goes hand in hand with posture, it's your expression. I see a lot of guys make the mistake of trying to be all mysterious the second they speak to a girl and they can easily make a woman feel creeped out by you. Don't try to play a role when you're approaching a woman. We're very perceptive and we'll pick up on it very quickly. So instead of furrowing your brows and running the risk of looking like Derek Zoolander, let's her see your genuine smile. You want to communicate that you're relaxed, that you're happy to be here, that you're happy to be in good company and you're having a good time. She wants to associate you with positivity. Now, later on, once you've dated and you're on the date, you can introduce some flirtatious mystery that can increase the sexual chemistry between the two of you. Don't lead with this because she won't take you seriously. The third thing that women pick up on should come as no surprise to you, but it's the way that you smell. You want to make sure that your breath is fresh, that your clothes are clean, that they're ironed, your hair is washed, that generally speaking, you are nice and fresh. I cannot tell you how much of a turnoff it is for a woman when a guy has an off-putting smell, especially like that overdue laundry. And here's the thing I want you to remember. This applies to also excessive cologne, guys. If you're a guy that likes to wear cologne, great, go for it. But if you put so much on that it makes her eyes water or it just takes up so much breathing room, she's not gonna to wanna to get closer to you. Trust me, this happens so much. And scent is the sense that is most closely linked to also memory. So you want her to have a positive memory of you, right? Let me suggest this instead. Only put enough cologne on that she can smell it when she gets close enough to you. Not only is that an elegant approach, it's exciting to her because she feels that she picking up on sexy details about you that other people don't have access to. And she might have to get a little closer. But if you arrive in a cloud of cologne, there isn't going to be anything even remotely intimate about that, right? This goes hand in hand with the next topic, which is your style. Okay guys, style is huge with men and it's so important that you invest in your personal style. When a woman meets you, she is going to scan your outfit. And no, it's not about whatever or not being decked out in a designer clothing and jewelry, okay guys? It's not about the weather and wearing flip-flops on a date that you seem that are so dirty. It's about whether or not you put thought into looking presentable and being the best version of yourself. I know it's tempting to just grab a chummed up shirt and t-shirt when you're on your way out the door, but a woman appreciates the, the approach, the choice of what you wear, something that is clean, something that is iron, something that also shows that it took time and effort and flattering. Now, flattering is the key word here. Unfortunately, a lot of guys cling to styles that aren't necessarily flattering on their body types and clothing that makes them look less attractive than they actually are. This often happens with guys wearing things that are too tight or too baggy, and it takes away from their appeal. 
So if you're thinking that you might need a hand in this department, I really encourage you to invite a stylish friend out for shopping with you or ask them for their honest advice about what looks good and what doesn't or book a one-on-one -on -one consultation and this is an image consultation with me as well. I'll link that below. The goal here is to look and feel good in what you're wearing. So always make sure that you're putting your best foot forward. Next, the fifth thing that women will immediately notice is how you make other people feel. This is both in terms of how respectful you are towards others and how people react to you. So for example, if you're the guy that is rude to the waiter or to the bartender, she's going to notice. In fact, a lot of women will pay closer attention to how you act towards other women than how you act towards her. It's so easy to play a role with a person you're trying to impress, but your true colors really come out when you're interacting with people you aren't romantically interested in. She wants to know that you're considerate and respectful, so she'll keep a close eye on how you're interacting with others. Similarly, if you walk in a room and heads turn, she's going to notice. She's going to pick up on the fact that you're desirable. Human beings are attracted to what others find attractive. So it's actually something that is wired in all of us called the scarcity mindset. And it's a psychological factor that plays a major role in attraction. Basically, we want things that seem special, rare, and unusual, and we are wired to notice what others want. So make sure you, that you use this to your advantage. Always work on being the best version of yourself and you will start to make heads turn more and more. It's really not about your personal traits or how much you own, basically, or how much money you make. It's a mindset. When you're confident and self-assured and proud of who you are, you give off a very special energy and trust me, people will notice. Now, the sixth thing that women notice right away is how it feels to speak to you. In other words, are you eloquent? Are you easygoing? Are you great conversationalist? Are you charming? Do you have a genuine interest in what she's telling you? Communication skills are paramount and this is how she's going to start to assess whether or not you have them. Now, I don't want you to feel all overwhelmed with all this information or to feel like you need to be perfect every time you meet someone, but I do want you to know the basics of attraction. It's really all boils down to being the best version of yourself. And when you can confidently say that you are, then everything else falls into place. And last but certainly not least is how you treat her. She is going to be very aware of how you treat her and how you make her feel. Again, you only get one first impression, so you have to use the opportunity wisely. Listen, I know that approaching a woman you find attractive can be nerve wracking, especially if you're not sure how to make a good first impression. But keep in mind, the way you greet her can set the tone for the rest of the interaction. So it's essential to approaching her in a warm and chilled out way. Now, the first thing you should do is to avoid making things awkward by trying to give her a weird hug or an overly aggressive handshake. These gestures can be a little too much, especially if she doesn't know you yet. Instead, think about how you're going to greet her in a more natural, easygoing way. One of the best openers you can use to compliment her or on something genuine, for example, can be, hey, I just wanted to introduce myself real quick because I noticed you have really great energy. This opener is excellent because you're complimenting her on something thoughtful while immediately letting her know that you're not there to take too much of her time. Remember, women get approached most of the time, so it's understandable if her reflex is to think, oh man, how long is this guy gonna take his time here for? By using this opener, you move past all that and open the door to a friendly conversation and friendly energy. In addition to your greeting, another thing that women notice when you approach them is your body language. For example, if you approach her with your shoulders slumped and your arms crossed, it's gonna, not gonna look good. You want to appear confident and approachable, which means standing tall, comfortable, and relaxed. Again, pay attention to your posture when approaching a woman. Are you standing tall or are you tense and nervous? If you walk up slouching with your arms crossed, she's not going to find it attractive. However, if you have your shoulders back, you're standing straight and you have this natural smile about you, you're comfortable in your own body and you can see that, she's gonna be receptive, okay? So in conclusion, it's important to remember that the first impression you make on a woman can have a lasting impact on how she perceives you. And that's why it's crucial to pay attention to things that women notice about you instantly, which are posture, your expression, how you smell, your style, 
how you interact with others, and how you treat her. And by taking care of these key elements, you'll be able to create a positive and lasting impression on the woman you meet. Remember that women are perceptive and pay attention to the details, so it's important to be intentional about the image you present. It's also important to note that these tips aren't just applicable to dating, but to all areas of her life. Having good posture, positive expression, and being considerate of, uh, considerate of others can go a long way in creating successful personal and professional relationships. So guys, I want you to take a moment, if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button. And if you want more advice on how to improve your dating life and how to approach women, I'll link something right below I have special for you. It's a free video in regards to approaching women. All you have to do is enroll to get that free training video in approaching women. You can't find it on YouTube it's somewhere every it's somewhere else link that right below for you if you want to continue watching i have the next video right over here three reasons why you can't attract women and that's going to be over here in the watch next playlist as always i'll see you in the next video remember you are always loved bye for now